Hi, this is Dr. Khalsa, and this is part three of my series about your glandular system. If you missed the earlier videos, you can find them on my website or on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be discussing the many causes of fatigue. As with so many other conditions, it's directly related to how you handle stress. Please see the list that comes with this video of my suggestions of things that you can do right now to increase your ability to handle stress. Fatigue is the most common complaint I hear from people. So many people are just barely getting by. I call these people the walking wounded. They aren't sick, they aren't disabled, but it takes all of their energy just to get through the day. There's almost no energy left over for enjoyment and play. Often these people will go to their medical doctor and get a full battery of blood tests. Guess what? They come back normal. Then they're diagnosed as depressed and put on antidepressants. Of course they're depressed. Wouldn't you be if you had no energy to enjoy life? Our modern lives have very little to do with the lives of our ancestors. Over the past 200 years, between the Industrial Revolution and the changes in farming, the activity level of most people has dropped considerably. Our bodies are just not adapted to this lack of movement. Sitting a desk at a desk for eight hours a day causes all sorts of imbalances. The benefits of regular exercise have been shown to be one of the most powerful ways of addressing fatigue. Another change has been the availability of refined carbohydrates like white bread, white rice, pasta, and sugar. These concentrated forms of carbohydrate release tremendous amounts of sugar into our blood very quickly, stressing our sugar metabolism. Our food also has fewer nutrients because most is farmed with chemical fertilizers. So we have more empty calories and fewer nutrients, and the result of our, is our bodies don't work as well and we get tired. What about the reproductive glands? Every woman knows how tired she can get at certain times of her cycle. This phenomenon is related to the similarity between estrogen and so many of the chemicals in our environment. These false estrogens are taken into the body and instead of helping a woman to stay balanced, they create more imbalance which can lead to fatigue. This can also cause interference with the thyroid gland, which is also related to energy and vitality. Finally, the emotional stress of everyday life can be crushing. The stress of traffic, terrorism, bank failures, global climate change, and fear of losing your job can activate your adrenal glands fight or flight mechanism and you're on high alert all of the time. This burns a lot of energy and leaves you exhausted. You have to find a way to offset this or you're headed for burnout. In my next video, I will cover how stress is related to depression, anxiety, and insomnia. If you have any questions about this topic or any other health challenge, give me a call at 626-345-9750. If you'd like to get future videos, click the like button if you're on Facebook or subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube or enter your email address if you're on my website. Until next time, this is Dr. Santo Khalsa and my prayer is that you and your family stay healthy and strong.